Now, when you're in concert, you get kind of very sensual when you're on stage. You're kind of riding around and sort of getting into all those sort of fake orgasms and things. Are they fake? No, they're not fake. They're better than most that I've had, actually. Because they come from an internal place. Yeah. I mean, it comes from... Um, that's where I can really be passionate. told me that you are trying to start a family or you're going to start a family? I'm going to start trying. You're going to start trying? Yeah, soon, yeah. You kind of got a sort of real sort of mother earth bit about you. Anyway. I think you're going to become a really good mother. Thank you. Um, it's, it's the thing that I want to do most right now. All right, so I take it this must be the American boyfriend you have. You've given up on us Brits, right? Well, he's, uh, it is, yeah, it's him. <laughs> Does it's, he know about it? Yeah, you know. Oh, good. He's a bit of a wolf, and we're going to have cubs. A wolf? Yeah. Now, I mean, I just find it strange, because I would have thought that you would have been, I mean, you know, you here you are, lived in England. I would have thought that you would have gone out with, I mean, an English boyfriend, because, I mean, they're sort of more esoteric. I mean, they're kind of more you somehow. I mean, I can't imagine you out with some jock, do you know? <laughs> This guy's not a jock. No, I know, but do, do you know what I mean? I mean the, the whole well, yeah, thing. I can't imagine me with a jock either, really. Yeah. I've never been with one. He's a sensitive type, is he? Yeah, he's sensitive, but he's very primitive. I mean, he's also, like, kind of a raw kind of guy. Yeah. Raw and... This is where the, where the wolf comes in, eh? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Does it bother you that, you know, you kind of seen as being somebody kind of slightly loopy? Or... Well, I mean, just put yourself in my shoes for a minute. I live in my body and I live in my mind. And it's the way I think. I don't qualify it like, is this a loopy thought? I think how I think, okay? Right. So I don't sit and judge the way I think. I just feel the way I feel but about it. if you say that. certain things, especially if you're saying it to the media, they will see that in a certain way. And no, if you look, I'm not a traditionalist. I don't see things very traditionally. True. So, very true. And many of them are incredibly conservative. That's very true as well. Even the most liberal papers are unbelievably conservative, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. So I don't think conservatively. And naturally, there's going to be a rub there. Right. But a lot of times, they're not open to any other thought if it doesn't fit into their belief system. Do you think you're going to be a redhead for years to come? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's in my blood. Mm. Kind of hook a red, it looks like, at the moment. Oh, come they, on! They call this. I it's mean, like pebbles and bam bam. I'm sorry, it's called Barda <laughs> Bardello Red. Yeah, but who invented that name? I mean, they don't like have to copy right on language. Yeah. You know what I mean? A, a poet would come up with something else. So well, it, you know, a poet would call it Titian. See? Thank you.